I need to keep doing maintenance on the cars in my collection and today I have my 1964 Sunbeam Alpine Series 4 with an automatic transmission. This car originally came equipped with a Borg Warner automatic transmission which is still in the car and working. If you want to learn more about that click above to watch the other video about this car. As for right now I need to fix a problem that is keeping this car from being able to be driven. If we take a look under the bonnet everything looks fine but if we take a look at the bottom of the bonnet we have evidence of a bad water pump. Not only is a water pump slinging fluids around the engine bay but the bearing is in very poor shape. I'll start the car up so we can both hear and see how bad that water pump is. If we look at this dead on, we can see how much that pulley is moving. Not to mention the grinding sound coming from it. You can see the markings from the water pump just straight up the side of the engine bay. I'm going to start the replacement by removing the lower radiator hose as well as the bypass hose. To take the belt off, I need to loosen up the alternator. The Series 4 Alpine would not normally have an alternator, it would have a generator. So this car has been converted to use an alternator instead of a generator. Looks like that bolt was already loose. But it's just a little bracket to adapt it over to the generator bracket. The belt's off, but I still have two hoses on this side of the water pump to take off. If we take a look at the new water pump, there are four bolts that we need to take out. This bolt up here actually holds the water pump together. So that fifth bolt you don't take out to remove the water pump, and that's important. So it's actually only four bolts that you need to remove in order to get this off. Don't take this one off. To reach in there, I'm going to use my low profile socket along with my low profile ratchet. It looks like the old gasket stuck to the block and they were using an orange sealant on it. All of this will need to be scraped off before I put the new water pump on. Now I can easily remove the fan without having to try to squeeze my wrenches between the radiator. Now I see why it took a minute for the water pump to spin up. It's pretty hard to turn. You hear it sounds terrible. It's actually binding up at times. Let's take this plate off and take a look in there. I'm not sure what it's getting stuck on, but at some points it was really binding up. It looks like it's actually touching the case there.
you can see how much the distance between the pump and the housing changes when I turn it. I will have to take this fitting off and transfer it to my new pump. Then once the block is cleaned up, I can put the pump on. The plug that came in the new water pump is square, so I'm going to be using an eight point socket. I media blasted the fitting, now I can install it in the new pump. I have pre-installed a new bypass hose because it's really hard to get these in once you've mounted the pump on. I'm going to use a little bit of Permatex on both sides of the gasket. This should ensure that I don't have any leaks so I don't have to pull it off again. I have the block all cleaned up. Now I can install the water pump. Before I bolt this in, I need to slide the hose up on the bypass tube. Now that the water pump is installed, I can reinstall the pulley and the fan. Getting the first bolt started is the hard part because you don't know where the holes are. But once you have the first one started, at least you know how it's clocked. Now the belt can go back on. I think I have everything back together. Let's put coolant in and then we'll see if this sounds any better than it did before. That sounds a whole lot better and you can see the water pump pulley is staying in place now. And that's going to be it for today. I can start driving the Sunbeam Alpine again and I'm sure that I will find many more problems that I want to fix down the road. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.